Pretty awesome, right? Screen mirroring your Samsung phone to your smart TV. It doesn't matter what Samsung phone you have or what what smart TV you have. This will work with literally any Samsung phone or any smart TV. Completely free and it's extremely simple. And the best part is that you don't have to download any third party apps from the Play Store to do this, to screen mirror your Samsung to your screen mirror your Samsung phone to your smart TV. It's free, it's simple, it's lag free. And the best part is that you can play games if you want to, you can use your camera if you want to, you can watch videos. Basically, you have tons of options. By the way, let me know in the comment section below why would you wanna screen mirror your Samsung phone to your smart TV. All right, so as I said before, it's free, it's easy. Let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can screen mirror your Samsung phone, any Samsung phone, by the way, to your smart TV. Completely free and it's extremely, extremely simple. So for this case, I'll be using my S22 Ultra. It doesn't matter what Samsung phone you have. Again, it's really simple. Okay, so before we dive right into it, I've got a couple of things we have to do before we actually screen mirror your Samsung phone. And the first one is going to be the connection. Now, in this case, you have a couple options. I will recommend you use your home Wi-Fi if you have it. But if you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you another way as well, but don't worry about that. I would extremely recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. It's homey, it's free, you don't have to worry about mobile data. But let's just say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, what, you, what should you do? Okay, so second option is going to be the mobile hotspot. Now, again, just be careful with the mobile hotspot. Mobile hotspot will use your mobile data. So depending on where you live, depending on what data plan you have, this will cost you credit. Mobile credit, of course. So just be careful with that. Extremely recommended just use your home Wi-Fi. It's pretty simple, it's easy, and that's pretty much all you have to do in the uh, in the settings of your Samsung phone. Okay, so now what you wanna do is head over to Play Store and download Google Home if you don't have it already. By the way, I installed it on my phone just for the sake of this video so I can download it again just to show you. Okay, so if you don't have Google Home on your phone, on your Samsung phone, you have to download it again from the Play Store. Really simple, all the links will be in the description box below. Okay, so be sure to check it out. Okay, so once the Google Home is installed on your Samsung phone, that is pretty much all you have to do. That's pretty much all you have to do. So, and uh, now basically what we're gonna be doing is, uh, oh, by the way, if you, if you don't have a smart TV, I'll be linking that video up here or in that corner. So be sure to check it out. If you don't have a smart TV and you have a Samsung phone, that video will be here, okay? So be sure to check that out. All right, so now let's just, just dive right into it. <laughs> Okay, so this is my smart TV by TCO. This is basically an Android TV, so of course a smart TV. So the first thing you wanna do is just like we did on the Samsung phone, you have to make sure you are connected to your home Wi-Fi. Again, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. Just make sure you're connected to your hotspot from your TV. So just make sure your TV and your phone, Samsung phone are both on the same network, okay? That is really, really important, okay? So that's pretty much all you have to do on your smart TV. You don't have to enable any manual settings or anything like that. Once your TV is connected to your Wi-Fi, that is pretty much all you have to do. Okay, so now it's time to mirror the Samsung phone to your smart TV completely free. So let me just turn down the brightness so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so by the way, a sub would be awesome right now. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for awesome, awesome videos. Okay, so now my phone, my Samsung phone and my smart TV are both on the same, same network. Okay, so now what you want to do is open the Google Home. This is for this is first time for me as well. So because I installed it. So just click on get started. Click on uh, you don't I don't need to I don't need to the notifications. Click on it. Uh, click on allow for the devices that will basically select or scan the TVs. You don't need to have the location access, to be honest, just to skip that if you want to, uh, like I would just click on the skip and it's gonna skip the location. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. You're pretty set in and you would, and you notice that your TV will be located automatically on your Google home settings. So right there, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is just click on click on that TV and it will automatically uh, connect your phone to your TV. Of course, it's not going to mirror your TV, but it will just connect it. So that way you can actually control the volume. And if you have a better TV, you can, you're going to have better options. So not, not in this case, I just have volume. And if you look at the top, if you look at the bottom, you would have the cost cast my screen option, okay? So all you have to do is just click on that, which I would show you in a minute, but just want to show you that you can actually control the volume from your phone 
as you can see right there, I'm I'm using my phone to control the volume and it's working in the background. It's pretty awesome. So you can you don't have to you don't have to use your remote control for this. So you can actually control your volume from your phone. It's pretty awesome. So let me know in the comment section below if, you, if I can help you out. Okay, if you have any questions, click on the start cast. Click on the start now. Just click on start now again, and that is pretty much it. Wait a couple of seconds, and that's bam, we are connected. Now, basically, as I said before, you can you have tons of options. There's basically no lag at all. Extremely simple, extremely smooth. It's just wireless and you have tons of options. Again, you don't have to worry about what Samsung phone you have. It's going to work with literally any Samsung phone you have. So that's pretty much it for the video. By the way, if you have any questions, be sure to, be sure to subscribe and comment down below. If you want to join the channel, be sure to join the channel as well. Links will be in the description box below, so be sure to do that. But again, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I would definitely, definitely uh, help you out. Okay, so by the way, step... By the way, don't, don't start watching the video. I'm going to show you how I can stop this really simple. And I'm going to show you a bonus tip as well, which is basically how you can connect faster to your smart TV. So that's... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. By the way, I play Clash of Clans, as you can see. I'm not going to stop talking. I'm so <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to stop talking. I'm just going to show you how simple and how smooth this actually is. You can play games if you want to on a bigger screen. You can watch videos if you want to. You got, you got, you got tons, tons of options. So it's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty neat. Okay, so the way you stop this is basically basically easy just go to google home okay so go to google home once if your tv is connected you will have the option to stop mirroring at the bottom instead of cast my screen so as you can see it's just all you have, just all you have to do is just click on stop mirroring and that's pretty much it that's it that's it that is pretty much it now if you want to connect again just click on your tv and click on cast my screen again and that's pretty much it you will automatically you will be automatically mirroring your samsung phone to your smart tv Okay, so here's the bonus tip if you want to do this very quickly. I'm not going to show you in the video, but if you have a, if you have a, if you have widgets on your uh, if you have widgets on your home screen, you can actually add a home Google Home widget on your desk on your on your home screen for the cast by screen. There should be a widget available, so be sure to check that out. That's it for the video. I'm Riz, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, I would love it. I would love that. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.